Welcome back to Minecraft, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I have been busy, as you can see. Looky, looky, I've been farming all the kinds of woods. Well, a little bit of everything. The stuff that I think we are going to need today. I've also been, because I had to run up the way to the tree farm, quote unquote. <laughs> um, so often I've been decorating the way to said tree farm a little bit. In a way that I really, really like. I think this actually feels like a, a, a mountainous uh, forest floor, so to speak. Big trees, shrubbery on the ground, moss, hot soil patches and everything. Yeah, really forest-like. I like this. Nice. I've been busy uh, cutting trees. And then this young lady showed up. Oh, I've just been going back, grabbing a few fishies. So we can add you to our collection. Hello! Hi! Oh! Welcome to the family! Now we have three different kinds of kitty cats. Oh, that is wonderful! And the reason they, um... Whoops! <laughs> Tree just grew inside of me. Okay! Uh, uh, I'll, I'm gonna leave you to it, Trace. Um, the reason that those guys spawn around here is because we have we have the villagers right beneath us, and if you if you go into this hole, for example, you can hear them. They are right below us, and that means that the cave um, where they reside nowadays counts as a village, and kitty cats spawn in villages. Which should actually mean that over there probably no cats are spawning right now. And I have also been farming carrots over at our the other side of the mountain. We now have a lot of carrots, which means we can actually get started by breeding a few more villagers. We might not need... wait, actually let's <laughs> grab a few more stacks. We have them now, we can farm more. Um. We need a lot of villagers, and today is the day, like I mentioned before, that we will transform this tunnely bit into a big cave where all the villagers have ooh, come on, their own have their own trading booths. Wow, you multiplied. Something happened here. Um, I don't think I have to feed them anymore. They have enough. <laughs> I probably gave them too much food in the last episode. That must be it. Hello, sir. Um, don't mind me. I probably gave them too much food. <laughs> and they just kept multiplying over time. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Okay. Never mind that. I really thought we had to we had to breed a few more, but that they yeah they've been they've been added while I wasn't looking. <laughs> now first things first, we have to dig. We have to dig out a big hole, um, which we then have to fill with well stuff that seems fitting. So let's first of all dig out the cave. So pretty. Meow. Eek, 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 eek. No. Oh, please don't. Come closer. I didn't want to move. Don't be scared. Eek, 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 eek. <laughs> Hello. You are going to stay with me. <gasps> There's another one. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> My my real life kitty is no mowing as well. Hi. Hmm. And boop boop. Yes. Now, 
wow, this is a big hole. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. But I tell you what, this thing is a health hazard. Um, there was a creeper falling falling down from there. This is the cave, if you remember, that we lighted up almost completely, apparently. Um, I'm out of torches, dang it. During um, our evacuation business. Um, yeah, the only, re only reason I'm still alive is honestly probably one of those kitties. Because the creeper landed on my head and then ran away and exploded a bit behind me. So, thank you kitties, you're going to stick with me during this build. Now, this hole is probably a little bit too big, at least that is my guess. What I will try to do is first of all cover this up because I really don't want any more surprises. And then I will try to get a basic layout done. Basic layout for where to put which sort of um, villager... Oh, the acoustics in here, I tell you. <laughs> it's getting a little bit ridiculous. So I basically want to have one corner for, let's say, uh, farmer villagers. One corner for Fletcher villagers. One for enchanting villagers. And so on and so forth. And I really haven't planned this stuff out. So I'm going to wing it. Okay, guys, um, before you judge me, do you remember in the first episode when I said I should take on smaller projects? Yeah, well, I think <laughs> this might be a little bit on the bigger side. I'm kind of sorry and kind of frightened, but on the other hand, I'm not because... I know exactly what it's going to be looking like, and, and, and I like it. <laughs> so basically, I have um, dedicated a little bit of space to every profession. At least I think I got them all. Uh, let's quickly go over that. This is dedicated for shepherds. I envision some kind of small market stalls or tiny buildings, like, like a miniature um, town down here in this cave. And I will probably raise the ceiling and... Mm, rough the place off a little bit, fill it with greenery and stalactites and stalactites and whatnot. Um, yeah, um, for the shepherds we need some sheep. We can store them here and make this cave a little bit bigger. I have dedicated this kind of huge building for the librarians because those people. Hey, kitty! Hi! Hi! Give me a second, okay? Um. So we have on each side four slots for librarian villagers we have i want a little pond here in the middle <laughs> no no particular reason just i feel it belongs here <laughs> here should be a little stand for cartographers there should be a little building for clerics um and fitting this building some sort of small brewery setup over here no need to put that in our base when we can basically just Leave it here because we need the villagers for brewing, I think. Um, these three, uh, yeah, kind of medium sized stalls are dedicated to weapons and toolsmiths, armorsmith, and the masons. Those are really good for generating emeralds, and that's why I really, really want them. I thought about putting a tiny cave over here with a little bit of water in it for, for some. Fishy boys, or some fishermen, because those are also really good to generate emeralds with. Uh, this is the pond, we talked about that. This here in the middle should be some sort of, well, maybe, uh, maybe a little wagon for some fletchers. And then we have the leather worker, the farmers, and the butchers. All of those are really good for generating emeralds, and the farmers are good for Getting the golden carrots that we will definitely need at some point. And now you. Who? Wait, I have put the fish in the box. Wait, 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 wait. Give me the fish. There are constantly cats spawning around here. <laughs> Maybe this this hardcore let's play might actually be the first playthrough where I get every variant of cat. Come on. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh yes. Okay, come on, let's let's make you make you happy, baby. Big. 
and they are purring. Oh, it's so adorable. You sit there. That is good. Okay. Phew. Now, I will... <laughs> How the heck do I get started? <laughs> I will bring a few chests over here with a lot of materials and I think I will just get going. And yeah, keep you posted if something is done. I'm not even sure if, if I will be able to complete this in one episode, but yeah, I guess you're kind of used to that from me. So sorry in advance if, if um, that is the case. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> but it will look really nice in the end. So I hope it's going to be worth it. Okay guys, update, update time. So, I've been, <laughs> well, digging out a lot of this cave, so it looks, well, more like a, like a natural cave. <laughs> this was really not that easy. I used moss for a lot of the, the digging, because it replaces the stone, and I need the moss anyways, so win-win. Um... Yeah, I've started by laying down the path, or, well, no, I started with the lake, the tiny lake, that I lit up with torches. Oh, no, that I didn't want. Whoop. <laughs> Hidden under um, trapdoors, so nothing could spawn in here. I hope everything is spawn proof, but I think it is. And because I like the look of pots all on the ground, it's so dark and muddy looking. I think it's quite fitting for, for an underground uh, lake thingy. Yeah, added, added greenery and mossy bits and, well, the fitting fitting colored wood, which is spruce wood in this case, and a little bit of dark wood to simulate um, well, muddier parts. <laughs> well, uh, I think this is, this turned out somewhat okay-ish. Um, path around the place in the same color pattern always with bits of greenery here and there and now uh, before i start the the buildings themselves i wanted to uh, take care of the of the ceiling which oh uh, i really do not want to do <laughs> because i have to build myself up for every for every bit and um yeah that Seems to be a little, a little bit of work. Um, maybe actually I should first build the the buildings and then plant the ceiling stuff on top. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, I have to farm azalea leaves first because I'm completely out of them, and I need so many. I need so many. I have enough stone. I have enough moss even. That is just what I. Nope. Accumulated through um, digging out the ceiling part. That should be, definitely should be enough. Give me all your leaves. Come on. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Nice. And we are low on iron again, of course, as per protocol. But I think this should do it. I don't really want to go digging right now. I want to... I want to build, I want to get this, get this going. This is such a huge step progress-wise to get the villagers going. Also, on a side note, I got a little hint on what to do with this staircase. And I think that was a really good idea. So thank you. Adding those logs kind of makes it look like they are supporting the... Um, the stairs. <laughs> Had to finish the sentence. Hmm. Yeah, maybe like this. Yep, that is looking snazzy. Oh, that is really good. That makes me happy. Thank you so much for that comment. Um, that was a big help. <laughs> oh, wait, now this one is missing. And this one. 
Hmm. So about this one. This one is supposed to be the Fletcher's, well, kind of market stall. And I'm not sure if I don't want to switch the uh, lighter wood and the darker wood. Uh, let me try that out. And I think I like it better this way. Wait, I'm going to show you in a second. First of all, we have to spawn proof all the bits on the roof that are no half slabs with trapdoors, which you shouldn't be able to see from the bottom. Oh, wait, two are missing. Can I access? Hello. Thank you. Very good. Just two more. Here and here. So everything is either trapdoor or half slab. So nothing can spawn on the roof. Right? Uh, 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 uh. And the kitties are getting annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you don't see the difference too much. But I believe it is better that way. Wait, let me take a look from further away. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the half slabs, to be completely honest. Huh? Uh, looky, looky. I changed it up even, even more. Um, I put oak wood on the top for more contrast. And I think it's a little bit weird to have three kinds of wood in one spot, but I think it works. I think it does. And, wait. First of all, I want to get the lighting going. Wait, 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 no. Uh, you can go. I just want one lantern in here. Now, you may have noticed there are trapdoors on top of here, which actually, if I'm correct, will prevent villagers from hopping on here. I think they can't. I think they can only hop one block high. The other option would have been uh, one that I find extremely ugly, to be honest. This. I don't like it. I really like this to be open. That's just... Yeah, that's just how I feel. <laughs> could be weird, could not be weird. And I want to put some signs here. And there we can put some arrows to indicate that this is the Fletcher's. Thingy stuff. Boop. And I think this is actually the last thing that we are going to do in this episode because honestly, to do all the rest, that's just way too much. That uh, <laughs> that would be a really long episode that I probably wouldn't get done, yeah, before next week. <laughs> so we are just going to put some villagers in here. This is a little bit creepy. This really is creepy. Oh god, look at them. They're so quiet. This is really weird. Oh god. Okay, we have one fletching table. We need to... I want to put three villagers in there. Three fletchers. And maybe plant a chest down there as well. Oh god, you are weird, guys. You're weird. Maybe I can put four Fletchers in here. Curious to see if this works. If I put Fletcher's tables in the in the floor like this, if they are able to access them. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And now for the really annoying part. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm just going to try to do this like like when we. Got them here from the village. <laughs> um, it's actually good that they're all asleep. It's really good that they're all asleep. You go, you go, and you go too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Chop, 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 chop. Boop. Would you please enter the boat? <laughs> come on! <laughs> you are no masons, would you? Would you? Please? Please? Ah, okay. That too. And totally not the right spot. <laughs> Come on, move. 
Move. Move. Boy. Ha! Gotcha! Okay, how can I turn this? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. I cannot go down on the path bits. <sighs> Only on full blocks, otherwise I won't be able to get back up again. And I, I will have to... No! Like this? No! The moss in the way! Okay, 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 okay. Almost, almost. Get that moss. Open that way, and then... <laughs> okay, first one. First one down. Good. Boop. And I hope you take your profession. Please do. Please do. Pleasure table. Pleasure table. I don't think they see them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... They can't get out! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Okay. Okay. Come back. No, come back. No! No! You know what? Maybe if I place down the Fletcher table first, we could put them down here and see if they take them then. Mm, doop, doop, doop. Okay, and we can actually take this down again. <laughs> Doesn't work. Oh man! <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, I have to wait, wait, wait. We have to interrupt this program. Yes, it's Siamese. Siamese. I have to. This is very important. Okay, now, this one, and it is one, and how do I lock you guys in now? <laughs> this is not easy. What do I have? I have trapdoors. What if I do something like uh, this? Probably looks really weird, right? Actually doesn't look that bad. Better than, better than... If I put a fence in here, this would definitely lock them in. And this will also lock them in. And I like this here more. Way more, actually. And now, extremely careful. One boat. Another boat. Ta-da! And all of you are pledges. Nice! This is basically what we are going to do with all the villagers. All of them. With all of them. Who was the sticky guy? You were the sticky guy. You want to give me the emerald. Oh, and I like you so much for that. Uh -huh. No. Don't use the trapdoor. They might get out. Okay, many, many emeralds. That is good. And we can trade those emeralds with those guys for arrows. Which levels them up as well. And you can see this guy. Oh, already refreshed his trades. At a certain point, they get locked out of those. And they have to use their workbench again to refill, so to speak. I will level those guys further off camera and build the rest of the stuff. Well, we will do that together in the next episode, I believe. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this episode, even though we are not really 100% done. <laughs> Leave me a like if you enjoyed it and I'm going to see you in the next one where we will hopefully finish this villager setup cave thingy that totally didn't go out of hand. <laughs>